Sally Cable loved going to school. She loved being with other kids. She loved having peers. Sally spent most of her life fighting leukemia and the devastating side effects she experienced from treatment. Her mom, Nicole Cable, explains there was one place where Sally got to feel like a typical kid. She didn't get a lot of normal experiences. Um, simply getting her to be a child in school with other children was a tremendous accomplishment. That is when she could get there. For weeks, she couldn't. Barred from riding the school bus because of bureaucracy. At first, the issue was Sally didn't have a nurse required for medically fragile students. Then when she got a nurse, the official coding was wrong, so the nurse couldn't get on the bus. Also running into issues with the child having a car seat. Sally's family did everything they could to get the five-year-old to her classroom, running up expenses, driving to her Manhattan school from Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, while also spending hours on the phone with both the Department of Education and the Office of Pupil Transportation to get her back on the bus. That worked eventually but only for one year. It was extremely frustrating. When Cable went to sign Sally up for the 2018 school year's buses, all of the changes she worked so hard to get were gone. Cable geared up to fight again, but for the new year, they weren't resolved in time. The school year started, I think, on September 7th this year, and Sally passed away on September 19th. Please don't Away. Cable heartbroken that her then six-year-old missed out on going to the school she loved in the last weeks of her life. But I looked at my husband and I said, I am so angry. I am so angry that she didn't get to go to school and have that joy this past week. She fought so hard to be there and I worked so hard to try and get her there and she didn't get to go. And the bureaucracy behind that, to me, is an unforgivable thing. Cable also furious at the lack of support from both the Department of Education and the Office of Pupil Transportation, at rarely getting anyone to answer the office phone, at getting a different person whenever she did get through, and at losing out on valuable time with her daughter because she was cutting through red tape. Now she's making sure this doesn't happen to other families. They fail her and they fail so many kids. Cable shared her struggles during an October hearing of the New York City Council's Education Committee. It should not be so hard to send your child to school. Her powerful story shocking lawmakers. I am deeply sorry. And inspiring change. We were speechless. New York City Councilman Justin Brannon, who covers the Cable's Brooklyn neighborhood, has known the family for years because of the struggles they've endured with Sally's illness. His office currently drafting a bill that would create what he calls a concierge within the Department of Education, someone to ensure special cases like Sally's don't get lost. Once we get it moving, it'll it'll become real, and that's really because of Nicole and, and, and the Cable family. I think I'll feel a sense of justice. You know, um, it would be great if next September I wouldn't see a plethora of parents complaining about buses. Instead, you would just see pictures of kids' first days at school. Brandon's office hopes to have the bill introduced by the end of the month. In Bensonhurst, Emily Druby, Currents News.